Notice to remedy? Th this is nothing personal. Oh, it just means you have 48 hours to return your door to its original color. Yeah. I'll get right here upon that forthwith. This is no joke, Miss Jokey Boots. Are you making fun of my boots? Remember when you were removed from the coffee shop for yelling at me? Well, if you continue to ignore the rules, you'll be removed from your home. Will that be funny? These boots are expensive! So then Stacy called and was like, I thought we were going to the mall. And I said, hello, I'm already at the mall. Didn't you read my tweet? And then she's like, I'm at the mall too. So I look up and she's standing right there in front of Juggo Juice. How's the plant? Uh, it doesn't talk back, Joyce. Look who's back. And I brought a sexy solution to your plant problem. Anna, meet Joyce and Crystal. This is the gal I was telling you about. You called her Wendy on the phone. Did I? I don't think she noticed. I hear your plants need a little TLC. Oh, I don't know what chemicals they need. Have a look at this one. This plant is drowning. How often do you water it? Ugh, with her bare finger. I need a Tums or something. I know she never did mind getting a little dirty, if you know what I mean. That made it worse. Hi, hi everyone, I'm Stan. I, uh, I work with Millie. I was just walking by for no reason, and oh, hey, look, there's my wife. Hi, honey. Hi, see, she knows me, as she would be my wife and all that stuff. You're dating a married woman? I had no idea. Now, this is just... It's kind of hot, but still, wrong. Joyce, I need to speak to your lawyer because... Hey, dog! Hi, Anna! Hey, Taylor. Is having a party? Oh, thanks for the invite. First I got kicked out of my condo, and now this. You got kicked out of your condo? Slowpoke picky pants says I will if the purple part doesn't come off. Does that make sense to anybody? Thank God. Okay, everybody listen up. Taylor, you can leave now. Wife of the guy I don't know, please fix my plants. Guy I don't know, but everyone else seems to know. Would you stick around so I can get to know you? Millie, have a seat in my office. We'll figure out this condo thing. Uh, Crystal, hold my calls. This is what I was talking about. It never ends. Why do you want your door to be purple? Why does everyone want my door not to be purple? Because it would be ugly. Ugly? Is a violet in springtime ugly? Is a bruise on a child ugly? Is a ripe eggplant floating in a bucket of grape soda ugly? Bottom line is you can't change the color of your door. You gonna be okay with that? As a matter of fact, I am. Why are you stroking your fake beard? So, you got the picture, did you? Yes. And I realize now that my harmless desire for a purple door is no match for your bossy jerkiness. It's just my duty to make sure that everyone follows the agreement word for word. And I'm happy to oblige. What the hell is this? Um, the agreement says that I can't alter the appearance of my condo, but it doesn't say I can't alter the appearance of yours. Word for word, picky pants. Yes! It's like I'm freaking Matlock! How did things work out with Anna? Great. In fact, I hired her to look after all the plants in the building. Well, then, I upheld my end of the bargain, and if I'm not mistaken, you've got some manuscripts to read. I already read them. The crap. Hmm. How's your panini? It's all right, a little stringy. What is it? That is muskrat melt, cooked to perfection on the manifold of a 74 Dodge. You still think that cookbook idea is crap? Get out. Ooh. Get out! So you sure you weren't attracted to Taylor at all? No, he's not my type. Really? But I mean, uh, physically, you know, he's, he's tall and handsome. He's got that dimpled chin, icy blue eyes you could get lost in. Are you falling for him? That's right, I'm in love with Taylor. In fact, I'm having his baby, his dimply blue-eyed baby. 
It looks like you're pretty far along. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, see? You two are so in love, it's stupid. What are you doing? Ah, uh, the judge had some fancy name for it, community something. Cerebus. Bullseye. I had to clean off Jerky's door and dry clean a shirt that I accidentally got paint on. Accidentally? You threw your paintbrush at him. At his face? I didn't mean to get a shirt. Anyway, all's well that ends with me not being sued. Hey! A nickel. And they call this punishment? <laughs> so little Missy Grumpaloo walked all over Grumpaloo Park, picking up the dirty garbage. Then mean Mr. Fussy Pants yelled, You can't pick up that garbage unless I give you permission, because I'm the boss of everybody. But Missy didn't listen. And when the garbage was all picked up, everyone thought she was a hero. While Mr. Fussy Pants yelled and yelled until his face turned bright purple, like an eggplant in grape soda. And it stayed that way forever.